Life on the Red Horse Ranch. Alabam is at a loss to discover the meaning of a mysterious map found in Dewey Dawson's locket. He's sure this map is of the greatest importance as outlaws have repeatedly tried to get the locket away from Dewey. Some believe that it may lead to the whereabouts of Trigger Dawson's hidden loot, but none of the Red Horse outfit are offering Alabam any help in solving the mystery of the map. Vines are twining round the door. Oh, how I wish I was there again down in the little green valley. For then my homesick heart would trouble me no more. There's only one thing ever gives me consolation. And that's a dream that I'll be going back someday. And every night down upon my knees I pray the Lord to please take me Back to that little old green valley far away All night long in my dreams I see a spot far away Nestled in the hills in a land that I love Stormy weather may come but weather the I keep dreaming of sunlight streaming from heaven Cut out that singing and help me figure this thing out. You don't mean to say you're still working on that piece of paper you found in Dewey's locket, do you, Alabama? You bet your sweet life I am, Bob. The sooner we get this figured out, the sooner we get this mystery cleared up. Well, I give that up a long time ago. 
Anyhow, what could you do with a map that's tore half in two? What's that lettering at the top? Well, part of it's torn away, Tenderfoot. Yeah? The first half of two of those words are torn off. Well, it's funny to me that it doesn't say a thing about where the other half of this map can be found. No, there's no other writing on there that I can see, Tenderfoot. No, there Just the river and these cross marks and that lettering up there at the top. Yeah. Uh, we'd better sing something to Alabama to keep him from going loco, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Smoke my long stem pie. No one to call me darling. No one to say good night. You're a lady, only a lady, only a lady. <laughs> when I had lots of money. Sleep. Yeah, that boy's been to a lot these last couple of days. Pull his boots off for him, will you, Arizona? Sure. Lay still there, buddy. There ain't no outlaws after you now. Now, let's look at this map again. Better be careful, Alabama. You wear that piece of paper out looking at it. <laughs> well, is that someone coming there? Alabama, I got to see you right away. Oh, it's Rose. It's yeah. getting so dark, I couldn't see who it was. What's the trouble, Rose? Well, it may not amount to anything, but... I don't like it. What? I'm sure I saw somebody ride into the trees over south. Hmm? I don't know who it was. Why, that may be them outlaws coming up again. Well, Keep your guns thought. loose, boys. We may have to take care of a couple of varmints before the hey, night's over. All right, don't rush out there now before you know what you're doing, boys. If they're still in them trees, it won't be no trouble slipping up on them. Come on now. Them rats way. had a lot of nerve coming back around this ranch. Uh, quiet, boys. Now listen. They must know we're coming. Best way to get to that clump of trees without being seen is around on the east side there, ain't it, Alabama? That's Alabama. right, Idaho. Follow me, boys. If whoever's down there is keeping his eye on the bunkhouse, they won't see us at all. Why, look, isn't that a light down there? Someone lit a match. Rose was right. There is someone down there, sure mm -hmm. enough. Easy, boys. He hasn't seen us yet. Keep down low, and maybe we can see what he's doing. There's his horse. Good. Tex, you and Arizona get over there to his horse so he can't get away. Alabama, I see him. Why, Bob? Can he make out who it is? Not yet, I can't. It's someone with a match. He's looking for something. All right, boys, get your guns ready. Cover him. All right, All right, got him. Got him. All right whoever you are, get your dew claws lifted and keep them up. Why, why, who is it? We'll let you know all about that as soon as we find out who you are. Come on, boys, keep him covered. Yeah. Well, seems to me I've seen this face somewhere before. It's Steve Bradford. What well, I'm not so surprised at that. You might explain your business, Bradford. Yeah, well, Bradford. I didn't intend to call out the army. You have to keep pointing those cannons at me? I don't think it'd hurt any. What's your game, Bradford? What are you doing on the Red Horse Ranch? Well, I, I meant no harm. I was just looking for something. Mm -hmm. I happened to be passing by and thought I'd look for it. Something of yours, Bradford? Yeah, well, no. You see, when I saved Dewey for you and brought him home, I happened to hear him mention that he'd lost something. 
Just thought I'd help him find it. Uh, you yeah. mind telling us what it was you were looking for? Well, I... Well, well yes, of course, of course. He said he lost a locket. Oh, 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 the locket you yeah. Yeah. I thought as much. What'll we do with him, Alabama? Bradford? I think you said something to me about prying around other folks' property a few weeks ago. All right, if that's all you appreciate my help, I'll go. No, you don't. Stand where you are. Careful, Bob. No rough stuff here. Go along with you, Bradford, but remember this. It's a mighty dangerous business prowling around other folks' property, especially at night. Now, hightail it out of here. Well, that's good enough for me. Come on, boys. We might as well get back to the bunkhouse. Well, Alabama, for once, I'm going to admit that you were right. Well, what do you mean, Idaho? We know what Bradford was looking for. Sure he wanted to do his locket and that map that was on the inside mm-hmm. of it. There's something powerful strange about that map. We've got to find out what it means. Alabama, who was it? Was there really somebody down there? Yes, Rose, an old friend of ours, huh? Steve Bradford. Steve Bradford? Well, what was he doing down there? Well, I'll walk to the house with you, Rose, and tell you more about it. Yeah. Right. Well, it looks like our singing was interrupted, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but let's light into a good one now. Grab your guitar, Arizona, and let's go. Yeah. <laughs> in Texas, that's where I long to be, riding on the prairie with a good horse under me. Three long years I've bummed around, my heart is sad and blue. I'm going back to the worldly west where your friends are always true. Way out west in Texas, where the atmosphere is light, you roll up in your blanket on the prairie every night. Where rattlesnakes and old horn toads sleep right by your side On the desert sands of Texas, that's where I long to ride Way out west in Texas, when they round up in the spring You'll hear me sing this little song while riding on the range Your Broadway lights appeal to you, but moonlight suits me fine So settle down in Texas and leave my blues behind (laughs) Well, are you back already, Alabama? Yeah, boys Oh, uh, let me get over here by this table, Bob. Oh, sure, I'll be. I still think there's something about this map that we haven't noticed yet. I'm sure of that now, Alabama. There's got to be some way of us finding out where the rest of this map is. I think the same way you do, Idaho. Now, let's look here, man. Uh, you better light a lamp. It's getting dark. You got a match, Bob? Yeah, here it is. I'll light the lamp for you. Move the lamp over this way. Careful of that match, Bob. Hey, look out! Well, Alabama, that map's on well, fire. Put it out, quick! Yeah. Well, there it is. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. It didn't burn none of it. Now, let's get a look here. Why, uh, wait a minute. Huh? I thought you said there wasn't any other writing on it. Look there. Well, what? Well, that writing wasn't on there before. Bob, light another match, quick. What in tarnation are you talking about, Alabama? Why, it was the heat from that blaze that made this writing show up. What? That writing was invisible. Well, Hold that match now, Bob. Oh, not too close. Well, I'll be a ring-tail coyote. There's plenty of writing on that map that we didn't see before. Whoa. Invisible writing, a mysterious map. Well, it looks as though the folks on Red Horse Ranch can look forward to some exciting times. Let's not miss a single episode of life on Red Horse Ranch.